And joining us for this segment of Reaching Out is Cleveland Dunn. He is the New York City Housing Authority Supervisor of Grounds. He is assigned to Cypress Hills Houses. Cleveland, welcome to Reaching Out. Thank you. How are you doing? Tell us a little bit about your background. Where'd you grow up? Where'd you go to school? I, I grew up in East New York. Um, I went to school. I went to, well, I went to uh, Franklin K. Lane. That was my high school. Oh, my father and, went to Franklin K. Lane. Yeah. Franklin K. Lane. I played a little football in Franklin K. Lane after I graduated there. I went down south for a little while and um, played a little football with the guys down there. It was a little too big for me, so I, I figured I'd come on back. My father was already involved. She, he, was, he already had years in housing, and he... He talked me and he said, "You need, you need to, get, you know, you got, you got to do something." So, I took the, t you know, went down in to the file the application, came seasonal, and you know, came to work every day, and I got me a job. Well, tell me, what does the supervisor of grounds do with the New York City Housing Authority, specifically Cypress Hills houses? Well, we we keep the grounds clean, we cut the grass, well, we do the hedges. Um, we are like the first defense, and like when it's snow removal, when it's snowing outside, you have a blizzard. We're the first ones there, or a blackout. We're the first one there, you know. When it's a blackout, you, you have to go to the elevators and get the people out of the elevators. That's the first one of the first things you do. The hurricanes, you got you know you got trees that come down. The hurricane, and you know we 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 we're basically there like the first defense, the first defense for the housing authority to 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 make sure everybody's safe. You know, we, 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 we also make sure we check, we on, on, a, on a weekly basis, we check our generators and flashlights and stuff for emergency, you know, purposes. And, but, but our, main, our, base, our main basis is to keeping the grounds clean and, and beautifying the development. Now, you've heard all of the um, attacks on the public sector unions, and specifically, specifically you've also heard the attacks on public housing, yes, and the underfunding of public housing, mm. yes, and the threats of privatizations of yes. public oh, housing. Oh, oh yes, so, I have been experiencing that. So, yes. what would you say to your, um, I would say, fellow union members in the New York City Housing Authority? What can you do to uh, say help the union in the fight against privatization and the fight against uh, the attacks on public sector employees? Well. I would say we, we all have to stand together. We all have to stand together, and we have to, we have to, I mean, they, they, they want to do a lot of, they, they, they work more with less. And, you know, we can do, you can do to a certain extent. You can't, you can't really, it's like if you have a puzzle, if you have a 27-piece puzzle, you, you can't, you can't do a 27-piece puzzle with seven pieces. Right. You, 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 it's just not possible. Right. But you can do the best you can do. And you only can give a person 100%, but. I would say we have to, we have to we have to stick together. We have to we have to come out to our meetings, you know, more strong, strong, stronger than we have been. We have to we have to you know. I mean, I know for my from I'm a supervisor at grounds. I know we come out, we come out strong. I, I I can't speak for 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 the managers and the HBTs, but I think everybody need for each. Uh, how, how would you say each level of each each title each title yeah. needs to come out and they need to to represent. They, their title, and they need to come out strong because if we all stick together, we can get anything accomplished, anything. Now, is there anything that you would like our listeners to know about you and your life with public, uh, in public service? You know, what, what really draws you to doing this work? What, what really uh, you know, inspires you, know you know to what, doing what, this work? What I like about doing my job is the people. I um I I love helping, I love helping the young people, seeing the young, cause you you know, and and where 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 I'm at in Cyprus, you have a lot of young people that they are they are they are picked on, they bullied, they're they don't know, you know, sometimes you can see a kid he's just walking down the block, and you can see the frustration on his face, and just to give him a talk, you know, just to talk to him, say, hey, what's going on, guy, and you know, just to to, to to make a basketball court, you know, where there's no basketball court, and put a basketball court up there and give it to kids. Instead of seeing them little kids shooting dice and, and on the corner, they can play basketball now. You know, they have a place to play. That makes me feel better. 
you know, to, to, to come out in the morning and I see the old lady, she's going to the store and she's, she's all right, it's, it's, it's clean outside. She can, I can help her to the building. That makes me, that makes it good for me. I, I like, that's what I like about the job. That's, that's for me. That's all the time we have for this segment of reaching out. And I'm very sorry, Cleveland, you were, you were a really good guest. Uh, and I want to thank you for coming on, uh, reaching out. Thank you for having me. Cleveland Dunn, New York City Housing Authority, Supervisor of Grounds. 